hello youtube welcome back to my video so in this video we are going to start a maven tutorial so we'll be checking in this video how you can set up a maven in your windows pc okay so what is maven uh, in one word we can define a maven as it's a build tool or project management tool okay basically uh, maven is used by java developers to get their project well structured it's a powerful project management tool based on project object model or poem okay so as a build tool uh, we use maven to development of code and as a project management tool we use uh, maven to generate reports and other dependency processes okay so in this tutorial we'll be checking on the base of build tool what maven can do and what what is the help of maven and how we can use so as a build tool uh, the maven helps to manage the multiple jobs which we are using in a java project and other dependencies and versions and maven keeps version for all your project and it will help for uh, keeping the project structure of uh, your uh, project and it will also help for building and publishing and also uh, deploying your project in a well manner so to know more about uh, maven we can uh, just go to the official website of maven so just go to your uh, browser and just search for maven and you will get the official site in the first link itself maven welcome to apache maven now let's open in a new tab and let's see what it says okay so here it says like it's a uh, apache maven is a software project management and chrome uh, comprehension tool based on the concept of for uh, project object model okay so maven can build project uh, build a uh, reporting and documentation from central piece of information okay so uh, as as i told uh, this maven is a project management tool all the intelligence of these uh, tools come from repositories so uh, these repositories are, are saved online so on doing your project make sure that your uh, your pc or your work environment is connected to internet and uh, this maven will get all the record just automatically uh, for you for uh, which is required for your project so let's uh, move further to download and install version of uh, maven in your windows so just go to the download link you can see here in the main page itself and it is saying uh, the system requirements uh, make sure you have installed the jdk 1.7 and above so i have another video for how to download and install uh, java in your pc please go to the description i have uh, put the and there is no requirement for the memory and this it's it's normal uh, no specification and no, no specific requirement for your maven and from here we are going to download the apache maven uh, this uh, bin, uh, binary zip archive so this is the one we are we need to get uh, the maven uh, installed in your pc so just click on that and download it's only 8 mb just wait for the download finish and let's start further i have just downloaded the file so as you can see here this is uh, the download the section now the next one is the install and run so let's go to the install link and let's see what is the so the first step it is saying like ensure java home environment variable is set okay so this is the first step what you have to do so let's go for setting the java uh, home environment variable so it's uh, saying here here after setting uh, it will show uh, if uh, if i'm uh, putting this one in my command prompt it will show my java home now i have not set the uh, environment variable let's uh, let's try running this command from uh, command prompt first and let's see what is the output so if i'm just pasting that one and just pressing enter it's uh, just printing java home it's not printing actually uh, what is the uh, my java home path okay so let's go for setting uh, my java home environment variable so first go to your uh, this pc my computer and uh, this is my windows 7 pc if it is uh, windows 8 or windows 10 this uh, your computer will be this pc and go to the properties section and uh, you can see advanced system settings just open the advanced system settings where you can see here in the advanced section environment variables will be there just uh, open that environment variables where you can see system variables so this is the system variable just check uh, whether a java home is there or not so it is not there so just click new and uh, the system variable what you have to give is uh, the java home just copy this completely and uh, paste it here 
and the variable value will be uh, the path of your JDK. So in my PC, my the path of JDK is in C drive and in program files there will be Java and inside the JDK and the path is to the bin folder. Okay, just copy this one and come back to the variable value paste it here and uh, just press ok and press ok again and uh, just wait for that and again press ok okay so we have just added that now let's go to the command prompt again let's close it and open the command prompt again and uh, paste that uh, command again so what the command was echo java home just copy it and come back to the uh, command prompt and just press enter here it is so this now printed my jdk path which means java home environment variable uh, is success so we have set it successfully sometimes it may require to restart your pc so if it's not okay just restart your pc okay so what they say next is unzip uh, the, uh, the zip which we have downloaded and add the bin directory uh, to the path environment variable okay so we can do that now so uh, this is the uh, this is the file which we have downloaded extract this one completely and open this open this one and navigate uh, i'll i'll copy this to my c drive for our better convenience so i'm just copying it here and uh, now open this one and the bin uh, this one we have to add to the path of our uh, environment variable so now just go to the advanced system settings as we have done and in environment variable there will be the path here it is just append the new path inside uh, the one uh, the uh, variable value so now just add a semicolon just paste the link completely and press ok and press ok now and press ok again okay so we have added to the path now what is next they have they are saying like uh, confirm with mvn uh, hyphen v to check uh, the version of uh, the uh, maven so let us uh, restart our uh, command prompt again so let's paste this one mvn hyphen v and just press enter and uh, it's getting java home environment variable is not defined correctly i got the error it was because as you can see here the variable java is pointing to uh, program files x86 to jre7 uh, means it is pointing to the 32 bit version i have two version of java installed in my pc uh, in your pc it will work because uh, you should install only once it is my mistake actually so i'm just pointing this one uh, to my uh, program files one and the 64 bit one so it is in uh, c drive and in program files and in java and the jdk and uh, no is we don't need uh, till the bin we need and uh, just go back no just go back and uh, this is the link just copy it completely and come back to the one and edit here to the latest one and the java home also we don't need to till the bin we just need uh, till the version i mean till that folder just press ok and ok now let's try running uh, the command prompt mvnv command again okay just uh, open the command prompt again and uh, this is the command just copy it and paste it uh, to our command prompt and just press enter and wait for here it is so it is showing my apache maven version my java home version java version is this one and all other information of my maven has been uh, it's showing here okay so uh, this is how you can uh, just configure your maven in your windows pc so in my next video i'll show you how to run a hello world uh, program or hello world uh, java program using maven and we'll execute it and we'll test it completely okay so i'll share all the required commands and details in my description and all other uh, videos which is uh, helpful for further maven uh, for the maven projects i'll uh, share in my description can have it and if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching